Hey, what's up everybody? It's the hyphen here and today I'm going to show you guys how to add an overlay in OBS Studio to make your videos, your live streams look a little bit more unique and give it a much better pop. Not only will it make you look more professional, but also allow you to promote some of your social media or pretty much any other information you want on your video. As you guys can see here, I have a unique customized border around my live stream feed so that you can see not only my website, but also my social media handle as well as icons for what social media platforms I'm on. Now this overlay border is something that I designed in Photoshop. Now if you're not a graphic designer and you can't design your own overlays, there are many other overlays that are downloadable for free. Just look online for a PNG overlay for live streams and you'll get a whole bunch that will pop up. In this video, I'm not going to show you how to design an overlay. I'm going to show you how, once you have an overlay, how to actually add it into OBS Studio for your stream. The first thing you need to know is that you need a PNG file. It has to have a PNG where it has a see-through space where the actual video feed will go. So here we are in OBS Studio and I'm currently doing a screen capture. So that's why you see this infinite loop of windows. But just right here, follow the mouse, the outermost mouse the farthest one, and you'll see this box right here, this is where the actual feed would be. So let's assume you already have your scenes and your display set up how you want it. Now here, I'm gonna show you guys how to add in the overlay. Now really quick, let me show you on Photoshop. This is the overlay that I made. I made this exactly how I wanted. So I created all this from scratch and I made it the colors I want. Red is my favorite color, so I put that. I put my username on top and I got these social media icons and I spaced them out and I put them there. The bottom I put my website and then here I also put where I want my webcam feed to be. Now the reason why you see these black bars on the side is because I'm actually going to take my video feed and keep this same ratio, the 16 by 9, the same proportion and then I'm going to just make it slightly smaller and fit it into this frame here. And that's the reason why there are black bars here. Because once you make it smaller you end up making everything around the entire border have no actual feed and I didn't want just this blank space that's why I put it black. Now the reason I'm saying all this in detail is because many overlays that are downloadable for free will only have the tops and the bottoms with no sides. So what ends up happening is either your overlay that's on top and bottom will cut out some of the information of your video feed and your video feed continues to go all the way to the edges or if you don't want to lose out any information from top and bottom you will shrink down your video slightly, but then you still have this empty space. So that's why I designed this to have the empty space already blacked out the way I want it. Now, as you can see, there's no background here. These little checkered box things in Photoshop is pretty much letting you know that there's no background. And then I saved this file as a PNG. Now you need to save a PNG file. As you can see here, here's the finalized file. It's already saved as a PNG. The reason why you want a PNG is because you want to make sure that the overlay is not a solid JPEG that will then fill in the space and then now you don't see the image underneath it. This transparent space is where your video feed is going to go. And now we're going to assume that you have whatever file that you want as your overlay. We're going to go to OBS and now this is where your actual live stream feed would be. We're going to go to sources, go down to the plus, click that. And then we're going to go to image. We're going to add an image. Click on that and now name it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine overlay. Press OK. And then now search your computer for that overlay. Mine is currently on my desktop. Double click that. And now it gives you a little preview of the overlay. And so I have my overlay at 1920 by 1080 resolution, which is full HD and my stream is currently set up for that same resolution. So it's going to fit perfectly on there. So you want to make sure that your overlay is the same actual resolution and the same aspect ratio as your feed. Then go ahead and press OK. So again, right now you're seeing this infinite loop and it's because of my screen capture. It's capturing this and then it's duplicating over and over. So obviously ignore the fact that you have these infinite loops. But as you can see here, here is the actual overlay fit perfectly over it. So unfortunately, I can't really show you guys the actual controls that I'm using. I can't actually screen capture the screen while also 
showing you the gameplay. So it's either I have the display capture on, which I'll show you now, that is going to give me an infinite loop, which is going to be very distracting to you, or I take that off so I can actually show you layer by layer the game, the overlay, and then the webcam. I'll actually tell you what buttons I'm pressing, but you won't be able to see the actual mouse moving and clicking specific spots. So just follow along. Here we have the game. And then we have that overlay. Now, as you can see, the overlay is actually cutting off parts of the screen, we're losing out information. Here you go again. A lot of information is being cut out. Now for me, that's way too much info. So I'm gonna actually have to resize the game window to fit snug into this overlay that I made. So now that we have the overlay, we're gonna have to click onto the actual game footage. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to resize this. So just get it close enough to the border. As you can see, if I go too high up, it's actually going past the overlay if i go too far left it's going past the overlay so we're losing information but let's go ahead and just go over just a little bit i'm going to hold control and then click on the edge of the actual video game feed so i can resize this without losing or changing the aspect ratio so as i make it smaller or bigger the same aspect ratio stays the same now that's very important if you do not hold control while clicking and dragging on the corner, you're gonna actually mess up the aspect ratio. You're gonna either flatten the tops or the sides and it's gonna change the aspect ratio and smash your image. So maintain your aspect ratio. And then now I'm gonna go as close as I can to the right where I start to go a little bit just past that edge of that overlay. Right click on that and then go to transform and then you're gonna click on center to screen. Now this is gonna move it perfectly to be centered into your screen. And now as you can see, it's nice and snug right under my overlay. It's very important that you make sure that your overlay is on a upper layer on your sources in OBS. Now on the left, I have the little box where my webcam will be. You wanna make sure that the webcam is set under your overlay under sources. And then once that's enabled, here you can see me in the webcam, make sure that you click on that webcam and select it so you can move it. Now we're gonna try to fit it nice and snug underneath this little box that I created for my webcam. So I'm going to hold control, click on the corner square of this webcam feed so I can maintain the aspect ratio. And then I'm gonna to try to make this small enough that it fits for the most part in here. Now, I chose to have mine a little bit more squarish. So let's just say, this is my face here, this is how I want it. And we want to now, instead of just continuing to shrink it, I just wanna trim out some of this because I don't want all this you know, chest area. Um, and I just wanted to focus more on my face. So I'm actually gonna hold Alt on the keyboard and I'm gonna click on one of the squares that's on the sides. And then this is gonna allow me to trim my actual video without it actually changing the size or messing with my aspect ratio. Now again, I'm gonna hold Alt and then click on the little square at the bottom of this video feed of the webcam. And then I'm gonna drag up and make sure that it goes right underneath that border that I have. There I have my webcam feed, I have my overlay, and I have my game not losing any of the actual information that I have. It's not cropping or cutting out parts of my frame. I just made the game slightly smaller to fit nice and snug with my overlay. There are various types of overlays. You can customize yours, you can find one that's already pre-made, and you can fit your screens and your windows, your webcam, etc. all your different layers. You can fit them however you want, but this is specifically how I want it, and I'm very happy with this. It's simple, but yet has the info that I want on my live streams. So there you guys have it. That's how you add an overlay in OBS Studio. I am gonna do another video soon on how to actually create an overlay using Photoshop. Now, if you guys need help on actually doing a live stream using OBS Studio, I have many videos on this channel that you can look up that will show you how to either do a live stream for gaming, for a podcast, for performances, etc. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.